Well, at the moment we are working on this 575 Super America. This is the actual, this Have is the original, oh, the original toolkit. Gorgeous that is. Actual accessories. You can start to see there's mold starting to grow on the side. Wow, look at that. So we need to take care of that and we're going to start cleaning the lever. Pizza time. So hello, welcome back or welcome to, if you're tuning in for the first time, the NVN London Lounge. So a bit of backstory, I always think it's good. Sometimes I get carried away assuming that everyone knows the backstories of where we are, but uh, effectively uh, I'm a shareholder and director of NVN London here. We are a uh, paint protection film specialist. We look after and basically do lots of various different forms of car care. When we built this place, we teamed up with um, the interior designers called Timothy Alton, and they put together this lounge. And we're honored to be the only official Timothy Alton lounge outside of a Timothy Alton showroom atelier. Anyway, so this is the lounge. We had it because we wanted this to be an excuse destination for clients to sort of turn up to, hang out, eat, share some drive coffee, etc. And also ultimately when they're collecting their car, they can either do the handover in the handover bay over there, or we can have it in the lounge if the client should wish. And in this instance, uh, we have here the only carbon edition Ford GT, which is destined for Ireland. So congratulations to the owner. This is actually the first Ford GT I've seen, or at least seen uh, here at MVN with matte carbon wheels. Every car that I've seen so far has the glass, but it's an honor to have this in here. What a machine to have in your lounge. It's gorgeous. And uh, just while uh, Jimbo, the cameraman, is down here by the floor, for anyone wondering what all these bits are on the floor, when we built this lounge, uh, the idea was to make it quite authentic. And we always knew that we wanted a sort of original parquet flooring. And all of these bits of paint here uh, are actually from an original sports hall. So we, this is reclaimed wood. There was the option to skim it back and take all of these bits of paint off, but there's something about it that I just really like. You know? Other cool features in here, this sort of abstract installation here, uh, while it might look like art, this is actually a Bang & Olufsen speaker system, <laughs> which, is, which is awesome. And then over here, we have our coffee station. And uh, this basically keeps us and the team going. Uh, Joe, who is our uh, front of house and all things NVN customer facing, also just so happens to be a ninja barista. We couldn't get a better guy for this job. He is awesome. Come and check this out. The majority of the association of this industry is with paint protecting cars. We do do the odd super bike, etc. But check this out. Someone has dropped off a beautiful bike frame. Um, and I think, actually, I've, I've recently had a custom helmet painted. When I see custom painted things now, having just been through the journey of it myself and understanding how much work goes into it, I could fully appreciate someone bringing their bike frame to us for PPF. So that's pretty cool. And we spent so long, and those guys are so skillful, creating hand painted things that uh, I think it's, it's great to get these things looked after. So uh, not sure I'll get my helmet PPF. I don't know, actually. Getting in and out of a race car, they're quite tight and sometimes you do like bang your lid against the uh, car. So maybe I'll speak to the team here and see if we can get that PPF. I'm also going to show you this under our detailing lights over there because there's some lovely exposed carbon bits. So uh, I think this would make a nice segue to go onwards out here. And I'm going to bring the lid with me so that when we get to our detailing lights, we can just jump to it. So behold, this is NVN London. Join us. All right, I reckon we start at the start. Follow me this way. So weirdly, this is where it ends. This is what we would class as our sort of handover bay. Funnily enough, despite the fact that we're starting at where, where the process starts, this is where it ends. But if we come around here, this is where it literally starts. So this is the wash bay. Ultimately, this is where the cars enter. Now check out this. This is just to set a spot of context for how seriously we take washing cars here. So this is um, effectively a reverse osmosis unit. <laughs> it's a quadruple filtration system and um, it takes out all of the 
particles out of the water and makes it completely neutral. So we have a deionization chamber, we have the reverse osmosis chamber, we have the sediment filter, and here we have the carbon filter. And when it comes out of here, through this system, and into here, this is literally the most neutral water. It's like washing your car with Evian. Now that might seem completely over the top. The reason we do it is when you apply paint protection film to a car, um, it has to be the most neutral particle-free surface you can possibly achieve so that for the longevity of the paint protection film application, you don't get any lifting or contaminants. So that's why we go to the extra level of making this uh, super carbon neutral water, really. All right, while we're on the walk and talk, let's point out some of the cars which we're fortunate enough to have in the shop today. So this, the eagle-eyed of you might uh, catch on that that is a phantom drop head that's been converted to a hard top coupe. Super niche. Come and check out the uh, XJ220 here. This is actually an XJ220S. Um, this is uh, owned by the founder of Gumball 3000 called Maximilian Cooper. Uh, he's brought it here for some love, some TLC, so it's ready for the uh, season ahead. Uh, this has actually done several gumballs. This is n not a showroom queen. This thing actually gets used. Gumballs, if you've followed my channel over the years, you'll know that they are intense rallies. Super rare, the S's, they didn't make many of them at all. And it's effectively come in to get it back to near Concours condition. Also like to shout out Don Law, these guys here. So Don Law, they're the XJ 220 specialist of the world and these guys have maintained and taken care of this car. There will be no finer example XJ220 unless it has the Donlaw sticker on the back. So if you're interested in those cars, be sure to check it out. This, check these out. Do you know what? I'm gonna put my lid down. Max, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna put that there, mate. Ultra rare, 575 Super America. Effectively a retractable hardtop version of a 575. Um, you might spot some swirls on here. This is in the middle uh, of its waxing process. But this car is, honestly, it's so good to have this in here. Let me just draw your attention to the roof on this thing, because that's really the distinguishing feature. Just check out the glass on this. It has this incredible bubble-shaped sculpture here. The reason for that is, and if you look closely on the edge of the roof, it's all carbon fiber with a completely transparent top here. This whole thing rotates right round. It just goes back as one fluid motion and it sits inside this dish here. So this effectively, there is one big hinge and this glass, which is absolutely gorgeous. What it would take to replace that, I dare even think, but this is such the most graceful sculpture. The whole thing rolls back and retracts seamlessly into that dish there. Naturally aspirated V12, absolutely gorgeous things. And black cars, you know, black cars are some of my favorite colors on cars, but they are a nightmare to keep clean. And so the reason we have paint protection film is once it's done, it effectively preserves and shrink wraps that car in time. So you bring it here, we make the black paint mirror finish, definitely better than the day it left the factory. And then we preserve that car in PPF. Now then, we're gonna talk about this in a minute. Anyone who hasn't been following the journey of the DBX, I'll set some context shortly, but uh, this has been a project of mine literally day in, day out, working very closely with Aston Martin for the last 18 months. So we'll touch on that shortly. It's not only supercars and hypercars we're taking care of here. Behold, the mighty little Peugeot. Now, there's a great story behind this car. The client uh, is planning on hitting up every European Formula One race in his Winnebago. You guessed it, he's gonna be towing this car behind, so when he gets there, he can use it to drive around about. But of course, if you were to tow this thing behind a Winnebago across Europe, effectively, it's gonna get battered. So it's in for PPF, so that when he rocks up to whichever Formula One race he's rocking up to, by the time he gets there, it won't be absolutely destroyed. And when he does give it a wash, having PPF on it, just glides right off all the bugs and non-existent stone chips, thankfully, will uh, keep that thing looking trim. But as far as stories go, hitting up every European Formula One race, supported by a Peugeot, I wanna meet this guy. But before we point you this way, let's show you this way. Conti D GT drop head, the paint finish on them is so gorgeous. You get in them, you just get isolated in your own luxury 
vacuum. That's such a beautiful place to spend time. But imagine taking the top off that this summer. It's going to be amazing. Now then, 718 Spider. For me, these things are underrated. I don't know what it is. They don't seem to get the same love and exposure that the GT4 gets. That's effectively what this is. The Gen 2 Spider was effectively a GT4 with the roof taken off. So imagine that. The famous GT4 driving experience, open air, manual box, uh, just a phenomenal thing. It's the same running gear too. So this thing will handle and drive dynamically very similar to a GT4, sound like a GT4, but you can take off the roof. Okay, check this out. F8 Tributo, you can think of this, this literally has a 488 Pista engine in it. So think of it as the blend of both worlds. Uh, Pista performance with kind of 488 practicality, if that's such a word. Basically a more compliant version of a Pista setup on the road. Beautiful thing. Uh, this one, I mean, look, all F8s, all Ferraris, obviously worth applying paint protection film to. This is a very special triple layer paint. In fact, I think, yeah, here we go. So underneath the bonnets of Ferraris, it will typically tell you what the, the paint name is. And this is Rosso Fuoco, one of the more famous, absolutely stunning triple layer red paints. Um, the last time I looked at these paints as an option on a Ferrari, um, they were around about 18,000 pounds just for the paint. And I know that sounds wild, and I'm not sure if the camera's doing it justice, but the way that these paints show up the sculpture of a car, particularly out in natural sunlight, is incredible. Now, the tricky thing with a triple layer paint, um, they refract differently depending on who painted it, because oftentimes these are hand sprayed. Um, depending on the direction it was sprayed and how it was sprayed, um, will differ spray to spray. So if you were to get a chip on this panel and you wanted to match it in to this panel, it would be very difficult to achieve exactly the same tone. So if there's ever a paint worth protecting, triple layer stuff is super important. Despite the fact that I really love these cars, let me just show you something which I really don't love, which is the integration of the 360 view cameras. What is that? I, this is not the first time that I've pointed out this, but surely Ferrari, you could have come up with a better way of integrating your flipping cameras into your wing mirrors. It just looks like there's this big sort of knob sticking out of your wing mirror. So weird. This is a phenomenal spec 812. Well, first of all, it's an 812 GTS. So this is gonna be fun for the customer this spring, summer. Also, if you come in closer, this is a hand painted Scuderia Shield. The significance of this is they're about 50% larger than the standard shield. What I mean by standard shield is the actual badges which sort of sit in a recessed panel on here. Um, also, depending on if you have a hand painted shield or a normal shield depends on a difference in the physical panel itself because to paint it, they need a flat plane panel and for the badge itself, they have to have a recessed section where the badge sits into it. So to spec that is actually a disproportionately expensive optional extra, I think. These are five grand a corner, and you can't have one, so that's a 10 grand option. Speaking of options, the inside of this is absolutely incredible. This is one of the best specs 812 or 812 GTSs that I've seen. Basically, anything that's not a gloss green is matte green, and that matte green is actually matte green carbon fiber. Got my trusty detailer's torch here, and we're gonna literally highlight to you some of the most ridiculous details in this 812 GTS. Okay, so check this out. Paddle shifters. Exposed green satin carbon. My particular favorite detail is something that you really can't see at first. If I take away this torch, this surround here of the rev gauge, you guessed it, green carbon fiber. <laughs> Once you get the sunlight, I mean, look at that. It's just the most incredible thing. So yes, this is why as a, as a GTS for me, the spec is more important than on a coupe because you're literally going to be flooding the cabin with natural sunlight and all of this detail. I mean, check this out. <laughs> this thing is a cave of carbon. What a thing. What a machine. Honestly, truly honored to have this here. This actually belongs to the chairman of Romans International, the famous supercar dealer. So uh, go and check those guys out. Have some phenomenal cars and thank you very much for bringing your car to MVN, sir. M5 Comp, um, contrary to popular belief, we don't just have cars in for full PPF. Uh, this has been in for PPF for the carbon roof, but uh, it's also just in for a wash. Imagine that, we do also offer that, offer that service, despite the fact that we do the 
full extreme. So if you want a solid wash, feel free to call up Turbo S, it's cool. So speaking of, it's not just working on supercars, hypercars, or even super minis, Affa, what are you working on? Well, at the moment we are working on this 575 Super America. Um, and at the same time, we don't just take care of the car, we take care of any accessories that come with the car. So this is an original uh, toolkit. Do you know, I did wonder what's in there. I thought you were gonna say it was like log book box no, or something. No, this no, no. This is the no. toolkit. This is the actual, this is I'll the original, oh, the original toolkit. Oh, gorgeous that is. Honestly, if you yeah. had to replace an original Super America Ferrari branded spanner, I know that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Honestly, mate, if you look at the cost of accessories that, that originally came with the likes of an F40, if you wanted an F40 luggage set, tens of thousands yeah. like so accessories like this for the overall value and sort of prestige of the car and super a, important and as well an original belt original belt yeah how great is that huh so you can see if you don't take you know care of these actual accessories you can start to see there's mold starting to grow on the side wow look at that so we need to take care of that on the inside as well um, and we're going to start cleaning the lever so what we do with this we'll give us a a light spray. Yeah. You can you can kind oh, of see the, the, the dirt away, that's coming off dirt. it straight away. Wow, yeah. And it does have light spots of mold on here. Yeah. So that's something that we're able to bring back, eh? Oh, absolutely. We'll take uh, we'll take time uh, yeah. and care with this, and we'll give it a good old clean, put some protection back on there, and put it back. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that has got some serious options on it. It's got the roof scoop. It's got a contrast yellow cage or orange cage even. Do you need that car? Move it. Do you want to join that brought forward a bit? That is a serious piece of machinery, huh? So this has come directly from the factory, like fresh off the line, straight into that truck, straight here. It is an honor to have this here. There's not too many heavily MSO'd 765 LTs around right now. In fact, there's not many 765 LTs full stop, but to have this one here, check out the roof scoop. If we, if we do, right. we live. Here he is. Okay. We are rolling. Okay. Ah, so All we've right. just had this dropped off. Yes. This is one thing we've never really shared, but obviously when a car comes in, it's important. The minute it rolls through yes. the door, right, to check its condition. Of course. What's the process here? Um, before, well, before the driver actually drives off, yeah. we'll do a quick inspection around the car, which we've already done. Yeah. Um, and then we'll sign the sheets to just see if there, there's no physical damage on the car. Wheels, um, underneath the car and no physical damage to the paint. So normally what I would do, uh, first things first, I would rather than bend down and, and hurt my back, <laughs> I'd go around and actually feel underneath just to see that there's no scrapes or physical damage. Which might have been picked up during transportation, like coming on and off oh, the truck or oh, 100%, whatever yeah. it is. So you've got to be careful just to make sure that there's no damage. And once everything was all right, then I would start to um, check the wheels. Okay. Just to see that there's no scrapes and they all look good. Do you ever, and I know we do this day in, day out, yes. but are there certain cars where you ever just go, take yourself out of work mode for a moment and go into fanboy mode and go, that's oh, pretty special. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt, yeah. This for me is one of those moments. This is a this special. Is, I mean, it's the, uh, we've had a couple of 765s in, yeah. but if this is heavily MSO, this is special. Yes, this has definitely uh, got a lot of, a lot of uh, MSO features on. Then I will start to inspect the paint, just to see if there isn't no... Whoa, yeah. this is cool. So without me turning the light on, this looks like a typical uh, a flat color, uh -huh. a flat black, we would say, uh, a non-metallic color. But as soon as we, I don't know if you can see this, as soon as we put the light Look on it... Look at the fleck yeah. in that. It's got a bronze yes. fleck in it. 
So without a torch, just looks normal. Look at that. Yeah. And then, mate, that contrast carbon stripe, isn't oh, that yeah. phenomenal? I think what is pretty special is if I come around here, you'll notice the, the badge is under the yes, clear coat. Yes, yes. That is gorgeous. So there's no sort of conventional fat enamel badge on there. No. It is under the clear coat. That will be as like a, a few microns thick to be able to keep it under and the And I have lacquer. to say as well, it's completely smooth. Yeah, amazing. Some cars, you, you, you have the different contrast and, and you can feel yes. where it slopes up. And For sure. Also, check out the craftsmanship on the matching of these opposing carbon weave. Right, that center line. You know, all of this stuff is super important. A lot of what makes the MSO option so expensive is because the labor time to get these yeah. things to line up so well. Oh yeah. It's a big deal. Oftentimes we get, we get questions. What's mm. the point in detailing a brand new car, right? Right. Now this is a prime example. You've just seen this. This is factory fresh from this the production is... line in Woking, which is about half an hour away yes. onto this truck straight here. And this is factory condition paint. Now this isn't a go at anyone. This is just the reason that no. we exist is to make this paint perfect because manufacturers don't have the time or facilities in house like this. No. It takes days, like a full job on this will be over a week. A little bit more up, that's it. If you leave that there, then I can see and I can move my torch around so you can see what I'm describing. So on this side panel, which is, this is a perfect example um, of why new vehicles would need attention. Um, so if I move my torch around, you can see these hologram. Little light flares. Yes, little light flares. Um, and that's mainly, it's because it hasn't been refined correctly. Mm -hmm. So they haven't used the right combination of pad and polish. Uh, and what you'll get, you'll get a finish like that. Um, and what's, when, when the sun hits the vehicle, what you want to see is the clarity, the flake, you know, this orange flake it has in the black. Gorgeous, and you won't see that because all you'll see is these flares. Yeah, these flares. Yeah. yeah. What we've just highlighted, these aren't these aren't criticisms. Oh, this is no. A, this is just industry, isn't it? No. So we, I mean, you have got to think of it. A manufacturer when they're producing these cars, yeah. they're not going to spend two, three, four days. What you're about to do. What I'm <laughs> about to do. They're just yeah. not. The, the whole production line would stop. Yeah, yeah. So they get the paint to an excellent condition. I mean, to 99% of the people out there, this paint is perfect, but this is where we differ. Uh -huh. yeah. um, you know, and this is where that 10, 15% extra that we give. Um, I guess it's in the name. We are detailers correct. after all, right? A absolutely. It. It, yeah. It's all in the detail and yeah. we can bring the paint, you know, the extra 10, 15% more sure. than yeah. the rest of the industry, what they can do with paint. Yeah, very cool. All right, well, maybe the next time we're here, we might see this after after Appa has done his work. I'd love to perhaps do yeah. a comparison before and after or something, but uh, that was cool, mate. Thanks a lot. You know, weirdly, this is my favorite view of the whole building. And yet on the vlogs, I weirdly very rarely share it, but sometimes to come up here at the end of the day and just look over the team and the cars which you've got in, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. So anyway, I think this is probably uh, a pretty appropriate place to sign off. As always, thank you so much for watching. I wish to see you next time. Ciao.